Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another episode of our YouTube channel. Today we're going to show you guys how to do something a lot of fun. We're going to show you how to install our carbon fiber steering wheel on a 2020 plus Toyota Supra. The wheel here you see in front of us is the wheel that we will be installing. This is a custom spec order for a customer with our extended carbon paddles. We got the uh, custom logo and of course this has got the uh, silver stitching and the red stripe. So follow along as we show you how to install this on this 2020 Supra. We get a lot of these Supras in here. If you're not local, this video will help you with the installation. And if you are local to NorCal, we'll be happy to do the install for you if you want to stop by. We also do a lot of other work on these cars. Everything from uh, carbon fiber work to uh, custom uh, vinyl wraps, PPF, you name it, we do all of it. So this particular Supra has the uh, roof wrap in carbon fiber. All right, let's get inside the car and let's get started. For the installation, these are the tools you're gonna need. Very basic tools. Small flathead screwdriver, uh, trim removal tool just to pop out the airbag with some assistance, T20 Torx bit, 16 millimeter socket to remove the, uh, the nut on the middle of this wheel. It's a 16 millimeter, so you need a 16 millimeter. I just have a uh, power T20 just to make things quicker. You need the T20 to remove the, uh, the face plate and also the paddles. All right, so very basic tools. All right, first step, before we even go inside the car, you wanna go to your trunk, because that is where your battery is located on the Supra. Remove the factory trim panels, get a uh, 10 millimeter socket, and remove the negative terminal of the battery. So here we've removed the negative terminal, and we just put it on a piece of uh, towel here so it doesn't short on anything. So when this is done, then we can move inside the car. Okay, inside the car, you would have the steering wheel. In this case, we already have another wheel we're gonna remove, but the wheel's already in here. You need a flathead screwdriver. What you're gonna do is, looking on the side of the steering wheel, there's gonna be two little, little slats, kind of cutouts. So you're gonna insert your wheel in that little slot. Okay, look for that slot. And once you're inside, you're gonna push through and you're gonna release a clip inside the, uh, the airbags. So I, in this case, I wanna show you first, I took the airbag out first to show you, but if you're looking at the airbag, there's a couple of clips you need to release. And by putting the screwdriver through, what you're doing is essentially you're pushing on these springs. So what you do is you go through the slot right here, and then through the slot, you're gonna push into the wheel, first from the left side, then from the right side to release it. And I'll give you guys a closer look. So what you're doing is the steering, the screwdriver is coming through and it's pushing such as this. And then that is gonna release the springs that are on each side. It's gonna push against the spring and then release the clips. You see how there's a clip here at the bottom? There's one here at the top. There's one more here. So there's three total, it's like a triangular version. So you got to go through with the screwdriver and release the clip from one side and then you release it from the other side. There's another clip on this side. So when that's done, the airbag will pop out and then you're gonna carefully disconnect two cables. You're gonna disconnect the blue cable, which is the one that was plugged into this uh, cable right here. And then you got the other one, which is connected over here, the ribbon cable. I wanna show you on the bench here because it's hard to tell in the vehicle, but the airbag, as you can see, this is the left side of the airbag, this is the right side. But when we turn it around up to the camera, it's gonna be reversed, right? So this is actually the left side, it's actually the right, correct? So it flips over. So you're looking at the right side of the airbag. So when you push in, what you're doing with the steering wheels, when you push in on this clip right here, you're gonna see, let's do it this way. When you're pushing in on this one, you're gonna see how that spring moves. Hard to do this on a bench, by the way, but I will try to show you. All right. So we push in on this side. You see how the bottom one moves right there? So this one right here where my thumb is. When you push in with a screwdriver, you see it releases that particular clip at the bottom of the airbag. And it also releases the one on the right side of the airbag. I know on the camera it's on the left. You see how that happens when I'm pushing on this? So that's what you're doing when you're pushing through the slat. You're releasing two clips on the right side, okay? 
because this is the right side of the airbag when you flipped it around. And then when I push on this side, the left side of the airbag, which is where your blinkers are, you're gonna release the top left of the airbag. You see how that moves? You see how that releases? Sorry, it's hard to do this when I'm on camera, but that's what you're trying to do. So you're trying to push in here and that clip moves. Okay, so left side of the airbag releases the left clip. The right side one is more crucial. The right side releases two clips, the, the top right and the bottom. Okay, so you gotta remember you reverse when you're looking at the camera. Left side, right side. Okay, so that's what we're trying to achieve in the car. All right, so inside the car, we showed you how to use the, uh, the release mechanism to remove the airbag. There was two plugs to release. There was a blue plug and the one that goes into the ribbon cable. So now we're taking the 16 millimeter wrench. We're gonna carefully um, loosen this bolt. I, what I like to do to be safe, I like to put a towel here in case you slip with this wrench, you don't destroy or scratch anything. All right, so put a towel there, put the 16 mil and just press down and it'll break it, break it loose. And once it's loose, we can take it out. The reason the bolt's so tight, if you guys are wondering, is because Toyota uses a little bit of thread lock on the bolt. So make sure when you put the bolt back in, you use a little bit of thread lock as well. To make sure the bolt doesn't come loose. So we're gonna move that. There's your bolt. When the bolt's removed, set it aside. You can remove the towel at this point. Make sure you unplug the other ribbon cable. There's two cables, so you can plug the two. And then the wheel should carefully just slide right off the wheel. When it's off the car, you can see you got a lot of leg room. This is a ribbon cable. Don't touch this, we'll come back to it. And we'll take this wheel to the bench and I'll show you how to swap over the parts. And in this case, the customer got our extended carbon paddle. So this is the factory paddles. And I'll show you what the carbon paddles look like in a second. All right, so we're back on the workbench and uh, I have the steering wheel we just removed from the vehicle. You wanna take a T20, we're gonna remove the two bits on the side, which remove the paddles. So once these T20 bits come off, they're one single black bit like that. So T20s, they come off and then the paddle loosens out. Uh, once the paddle's loose, you can unplug it from inside and then you can remove the paddles. Now here's where, um, if you decided to buy the steering wheel from us, but you didn't get the paddles, you will be swapping in your original paddles to our new steering wheel. Um, if you opted to get our carbon fiber paddles, then you will get the wheel with the paddles already installed. You can see here is our longer paddles. Um, so let me pull this one out and I will show you the difference. All right, so after the two T20 bits are removed, the paddles are loose. You can see how it's loose like this. What we wanna do is there's gonna be two more hidden screws that hold the face plate. So do not forget these. Inside these holes here, there's two more T20 bits. So we're gonna remove these as well. This secures the face plate onto the, uh, the wheel. So we're gonna take one off on each side. And we're gonna take the other one off as well. All right. When these are all loose, don't lose the bolts. We'll flip it around. And then you're gonna carefully remove this piece right here. Because with this piece comes all the wiring, so you're gonna to need to transfer this to your new steering wheel. Uh, depending on if you, like I said, if you got the clear, if you got the, um, the carbon faceplate option, then you would just reuse our carbon faceplate and we would return the silver one. But if you didn't purchase the faceplate from us, then you will just reuse your faceplate. So carefully work your way out. These are cl clips at the bottom. Um, in this case, I don't think I took the screw out. The faceplate separates from the wheel as such. Once the faceplate separate, you can reach down here and unplug it. And there's your faceplate. So we're gonna set this aside for a second. Now you can see at the wheel, you can see the harness, the wiring harness runs all around. So we're gonna remove this whole thing and transfer this to the new wheel. But we're gonna unplug the paddles next. Those are the two blue connectors. So we're gonna unplug these, one on each side. All right, and those are unplugged. 
the wire feeds through the back side and there's your paddle and this is your other paddle so now the paddles are removed we're gonna put these aside over here uh, next step would be to remove the wiring harness to remove the wiring harness you have one uh, wire you gotta release from here so again that's a t20 so release that one When this is removed, you can unplug the little control module here. All right, and then we're gonna unplug it here. All right, so once that module's released, you can see the module, there's a little plug here, I unplugged it, and now we're just gonna pull the whole harness out, the whole harness separates. So we're gonna transfer this harness to the new wheel. So normally, if this was a standard wheel, you would just send this wheel back to us. Uh, this would be the stock wheel for the core exchange. All right, so we're gonna put this wheel aside. This is the stock wheel. Now, we're gonna transfer all the components that we took off. If you had the uh, factory faceplate, you would just move the factory faceplate over. In this case, we have a carbon faceplate over here, so we're gonna use this one. Uh, this particular wheel, you can see it's got the longer paddles. So you can see the difference. That's your factory paddle. These are not stick-ons. These are actual molded pedals. So these pedals are pretty much a direct replacement for your stock ones. You have a perfect feel. So you can order these separately without buying the steering wheel from us if you wanted to. So you got a pair. We use only OEM parts, so there's a core exchange. Uh, we can send you the paddles first, complete it, or you can ship us your stock paddles and we can do the work either way. So in this case, what we're doing is we're gonna transfer all the wiring over to this particular wheel. So the first step is to remove this face plate again. So this piece is held in nothing but clips. So just work your way around it, pull carefully, and this piece will come off. Slowly work your way through it. Don't yank on it, because if you yank on it, you're gonna break it. There we go. So that piece is nothing on more than snap clips. This particular wheel has our custom logo. You can see the Supra logo. We did this in black. We can do this in any color you want, but this piece is a uh, option. So this is not a stick on. This is actually under the clear coat. So now you got this wheel out. We're gonna transfer all the wiring harness, which we took out from the other wheel, onto this particular wheel. So to do that, it's pretty easy. You just look at the channels, follow it back, and relay everything back into it. So we're gonna press fit that back in. All right, this piece slides in here. Don't forget to plug in the module. All right, so the module plugs in here. Okay, snap it in. Okay, lock it in like that. Do not forget the yellow bolt. That's the yellow wire. So there's another T20 here. So we're gonna put this one out. All the wires are back in. Double check everything. Make sure you didn't forget anything. You plugged everything in correctly. The harness is in. Um, do not forget two things. There's a black plug here. This one has to go to your switch panel. Do not forget to plug that in. If you don't, your, your switch is not gonna work. So we're gonna plug that in, plug the paddles in, and then we can transfer this back to the car. So I can see the harness are back in together. All right, so we've installed everything back on the wheel now. We wanna show you the finished product. Um, we put the T20 bits back on the face plate. We put the T20 bits, one on each uh, wheel right here. These are the ones that secure the paddles. So this wheel, the customer has purchased the, you know, the carbon face plate. He's got the optional Supra logo we did in black. We did the silver stitching, the red stripe, flip it around. He's got the extended carbon paddles, which you can see is significantly different than the factory ones. Uh, these are direct molded on paddles. We've got the knurled grip, red stripe. So this wheel is pretty much all transferred over. So now we're ready to install it back on the cart. All right, so we got the wheel back in the car now. A couple of things to point out as we put it back together. Uh, there's a little marking here. If you look closely, there's a little stripe. Make sure you line up the stripe. 
so they match. You see the little line right here? They line up so that centers the wheel. Plug in the connectors. The first one is this top one. We're gonna plug this connector in right here. So each one, you hear a little click, that'll pop in there. The red one goes here in the middle, pop that one in, click, you can hear that. So now pretty much all the connections are made to the ribbon cable, except for the airbag will do last. This connector also goes to the airbag. So just make sure your wiring is good. Everything's tucked in, looked at everything. So that looks good. And then we're gonna snap the airbag back in into those three clips and then we should be done. Okay, we've tightened the wheel back using a 16 millimeter wrench, uh, nice and tight with thread lock. We got the airbag here. We're gonna make the last two connections. Again, here comes our little trusty rag. Put this here so you don't scratch anything. Um, first thing you wanna do is plug in the, 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 the white cable. Little one, it goes to the blue and black wire. Then as you flip the airbag around facing you, you're gonna plug in the last one, which is uh, the one that goes to the ribbon cable. This one's kind of short, so you kind of have to work your way around it. Get your fingers in there, plug that in. When that's in there, you can carefully remove the rag. Make sure all the cables are out of the way and not in the way of any of the clips. So when everything's back in, you line it up. Looks good. Then you just push in and that's it. Make sure you got your horn. Obviously the horn's not working because we didn't connect the battery yet, but the wheel's back on, nice and tight. So now we're just gonna go in the trunk, connect the battery, and then we can test this wheel off. All right, so we got the steering wheel back on the car. It's pretty much finished now. Just want to give you a good look at the wheel. This wheel features our flat bottom, custom grips, uh, custom Supra logo at the bottom. And then we did the extended carbon paddles with the plus and minus logo in red to match the red stripe. Uh, give you a look at the back of the extended paddles. That's what it looks like. The wheel is substantially thicker than the stock wheel. Beautiful wheel. So if you guys have any questions, give us a call and we'll get this uh, made for you if you need one. Again, thanks for your support. Until the next video, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.